Yeah. What it do? You healthy motherfuckers. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, man, I know it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute. It's crazy, though, because it don't even feel like it. Like, I don't know, man. Time is some bullshit to me. Like, I feel like six weeks instead of six months done passed. But, according to YouTube, that's how long I've been gone, man. But Anyway. I don't plan to be gone that long. You know, shit like that just happens, man. I just... Had to get the fuck away. I'm sorry. I'm out here looking at these damn scallywags and shit walking around, man. You know, it's nature, goddammit. <laughs> but I just wanted to holler at y'all, man, about uh, something I shared on Twitface. For those who follow me, y'all already know about this, but I figured I should try to turn on as many people to this as I can, man. And, you know. I already know what I'm gonna title this, so it might seem a little misleading, but shit, I had to try to make it as general as possible, you know? So I'm not actually talking about not ever buying groceries again, not, uh, just, I guess it just depends on what you eat, you know? Cause there's a way to not ever buy groceries again, but this is not exactly what I'm talking about. I'm really just showing a few, I really just want to talk about some foods that you can regrow. You know, it's a lot of shit that you can take from the scraps and regrow the food. Let me give y'all some examples of what I'm talking about. I got right here, got some green onion. We've been having, uh, just soak it in some water. You know, you change your water regularly, regularly so it don't get dirty and slimy and shit. That's romaine lettuce. More green onions. I'm trying to regrow a regular onion from the bottom part of the onion, but I don't know if that's gonna work out. Look at this crazy crackhead bitch <laughs> out in the middle of the street. Anyway, so the onion didn't turn out that good, but yeah, I'm gonna post the link the link because I'm not about to list all this shit. It was like 13 foods on the website on the link that I shared that you can regrow. Basil, it's a lot of shit, you know, just just go look at it. I'm just passing the information on, man. And you know, look at my ghetto gardener on. That's a bell pepper plant. Gotta stop the caterpillar from eating it. Y'all know what that is. Got some more peppers. Got me some string beans here. And all this stuff I grew from, you know, seeds that I already had. There's tomatoes over there, peppers. You yeah, know, so just shit like that. So save your seeds, man. You know, we got levels to this thing. I'm not interested in being just having no garden. Like, I know a lot of us think that's the epitome of freedom or self-sufficiency, but really, you want to be just living off the land like every other animal. Like, that's that's more, that's work. And then y'all be out buying seeds and doing all that type of shit. Like, no. I'm trying to make this lifestyle as easy as possible. Just get wild, man. Go wild, fuck all that. So that's a great step though. I'm not knocking a garden. You see, I'm ghetto gardening out there, but that's a step until I learn what about all this other free shit that's out here that I don't have to worry about. You know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to have to garden. Like you don't no other animal on the planet has to take care of his food and make sure he's grow and keep the bugs off of it and shit. No. Nature take care of that for you. So yeah, I'm trying to get on my gorilla shit. Y'all be on what you want to be on. I'm just letting you know. Don't get content because you got your little garden and you're growing some shit. That's just a step in the right direction. You don't want to have to be a slave to your garden. But anyway, man, that was it. Y'all check the links out. Save your seeds. Grow your own. Regrow your own shit. Look into dumpster diving. Matter of fact, that's another level. that I know I know y'all don't want to talk about y'all. motherfuckers think you too good for that shit, right? You like me, you thought only homeless people did that. <laughs> well, if you thought that, you will be greatly surprised to find out that people look just like me and you go dumpster diving all the time and get 90% of their groceries that way. That fucked me up when I found out people were actually damn near living off dumpster diving. <laughs> so, hey, 
it's an option, something that I'm definitely not opposed to. I haven't been got there yet, but that's better than buying seeds and growing, trying to be worried about shit. And it's not you're not eating trash. You eating shit that people that they had too much of. One man's trash is another man's treasure. So just look into it. I'm just giving you something out there. I don't. I already know that sounds crazy to some of y'all motherfuckers, but fuck you, you. Yo motherfucking sane ass will starve to death while we be out in the dumpsters getting full, eating free. But uh, that's it for right now, man. I'm, I'm in the middle of making me something to eat, so. Oh, and I showed, I'm going to put the mushroom pictures. If y'all follow the page I've seen, it's mushroom season right now. Start learning what your mushrooms are, what you can eat. Find you somebody who know this shit so they can show you what's good and what ain't. Cause that's what I've been on too. Had them chanterelles, man, on that pizza. We stir fried them first, then we put them on pizza the next day. Things were delicious, man. So, yeah, I'll put a little pictures up. Maybe uh, some more information about that later. But Your I'll be back at y'all soon, man. Girl, I promise. Empress this time. And Saba. Peace. I am here um, back from a quick little trip that me and Dr. Arden made into the woods do a little grocery shopping which is so super cool to me um we came up on a great find um of some shrooms some mushrooms it's like a buffet a smorgasbord of different kinds of mushrooms out here um near to where we live but um i just wanted to show y'all real quick what we came upon um, what we found are called chanterelles and um, if you do decide to do some foraging make sure that you do your research first so you'll know exactly what it is that you're coming upon that way you won't be getting your hands on some um, poisons or something like that something that is not meant for our consumption but we know what we found so I just want to share that with y'all real quick Got them in a the bag. So I'm gonna pull them out for y'all to see. That's them in the bag, but I'm gonna pull them out. They have not been cleaned yet. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. And then once I get them cleaned up, I'm going to um, saute them and show y'all the recipe once I'm done. But, uh, man, it was quite a bit of them they look and smell great they feel good They're really kind of fleshy and I'm so excited I'm so ready to cook them eat them <laughs> scared me eat your little ass up like a chanterelle stop spray. <laughs> okay so these are the shrooms and see how orange they are. Oh, my light. How do you turn the light back on? Oh, okay. There. Really kind of fleshy. You can tell I just went and got them. So I'm going to get ready to clean these up and then cook them lightly. And then I'll show y'all what so I came up with. No, I did not. Why don't you? Just make sure. You know the difference between the chanterelles and the jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, they're just a poisonous look-alike. That's all. Just make sure you know what you're looking for, know what you're doing. I didn't go picking up a whole bunch of different mushrooms because these are the only ones that I was sure about. You know, so got to make sure you know what you're getting. You don't want to kill yourself. That's basically it. Okay. So I'm about to clean these and then we'll be back. Hey. What's up people, we back. And I just want to show you how these chanterelles turned out. Did a stir fry with some red bell peppers, onion, garlic, butter, and some Bragg's liquid aminos. 
and it is on top of a bed of couscous. And this is how it turned out. Let's give it a taste. What does it taste like? The texture is like chicken. It tastes kind of mushroomy. It's really good. Right. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. Kind of like shiitake texture. Fresh. Wow. Not bad. Okay, what else you got to say? Not that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Peace.